what's bigger and wider than it was last year. <laughs> Our bale heap. And that's because we have more hay this year. Hi and welcome to another video. As you can see I'm on the tractor and it's another grey August day. <laughs> uh, thankfully most of our haymaking is done. Um, this is the last part of the haymaking series for now. Um, so it's going to show what happened when we were baling the day after and then what we've been doing since then which is moving the bales and creating bale heaps, fencing them off that kind of thing. So I hope you'll enjoy watching and look forward to reading your comments. Twenty past six on Friday morning and I've been awake since about four, worrying that it was going to rain. Um, so I'm just going to head up now and see how many bales we've got and how much got done last night. Hmm. Not very much, so only one field got bailed. Yay! We've got some bales. It's Friday, it's one o'clock, and we are we're fully in action, so let's hope it continues. Um, we've just done a drive up. We'll have to do a count of... Um, you know, how many we have compared to last year, but we're fairly certain it's definitely more, a significantly more. Yeah. more. Um, and yeah, the sun's out and the bales look wonderful. And we're just going to have a look to see what we think of our, how we did mowing wise. The last bit. Baling for us is Bill Jackson, who's a local farmer and does contract baling work. He did the baling for us last year as well. So it uh, worked quite well baling for quite a few local farms in our village. And we were the last to be done on the sort of day that was going to be the baling day, which is why kind of it rolled over to the next day. And I guess partly because everybody had a thicker crop as well, it just took a bit longer. Saturday morning, it's the 12th of August today and we've just come to a look round. The weather has changed. Oh, it's gone blurry. The weather has changed. Uh, we had a bit of rain this morning, so thankfully we've got all wrapped up. The wrapping guy finished at the farm at 11 p.m. and then came down here and we haven't counted the bales down here, but that's what we're going to do now. I think there's probably about 70 bales down here. Oh, yeah. So yeah, it took him, took him a while. But a sigh of relief because the job is done and um, and now we can think about stacking them and moving them and um, getting organised. So you can actually see all the bales in the field up at Dale Farm, which is quite a cool perspective. You can see the sheep and then the hay fields with all the black bales. That is where we were working. So I like that different perspective on things. Whoa, look at that. Look at that. Oh. I managed to catch one. Oh. It's very rainy today. It's really wet and horrible. And we are fencing off bale heaps. We moved the bale heap closer to the gateway so easier access. So we've just got to put some posts in, get some wire on, and then that'll stop the livestock from interfering with the, the hay, shall we say. And it's another day where we're very grateful for the post locker helping to make the job go faster, uh, although the ground is pretty soft, I have to say. Uh, it's not taking much to get the posts in at all. So we've got a line of posts in. Looking good. We 
we've got a bottom strand and a top strand and then a bit of a space where sheep will not pass through. Um, so it needs something in the middle, but overall we've made a good start. And then look at this cloud. Angry sky. Um, definitely raining over there. So... Good morning, it is the 15th of August today and you can see it's a much better day. Here's one of the bale heaps that we've been working on. Yesterday, uh, Monday was terrible. I think we had about another 20 mil of rain. So as we were driving across the field, there was just black tracks um, from the tractor, which just shows sort of like how wet it was. And we were working away trying to fence off this bale heap and it was just, it was just awful. Um, but today it looks a lot better, so thank goodness. But certainly the rain and then a bit of sun now, it's gonna really get the grass shooting, I would have thought. So that's a benefit. And um, yeah, just loving this really nice morning. I can't believe we're halfway through August and it is starting to feel much more like autumn. Um, I would say like, a, it feels like an early autumn. Uh, at the moment red berries already on the bushes and um yeah just feels like awesome today i've just been stringing some wire on we've reused some old sheep netting which um it's good it's good we like to reuse recycle we do um and then we've got one side gate on one gate on and um, we'll just lock this other post in and just uh, put, in the, put the hinges in a funny, funny place so that the gate can swing all the way open. Very happy indeed from no, no heap to a heap and all the fences and gates in two days. Not bad at all. You're a handy guy. <laughs> so it's Saturday today and we are continuing with our quest to fence off the bale heaps. So we've been knocking some corner posts in this morning. We've had our breakfast and now we're knocking in some of the smaller posts. And then it means that we can open up the fields um, and let the livestock move around a little bit. You can see how much the the grass has grown and the fields have greened up in the space of a week. Um, there's definitely something for them to eat on here now, as well as all around the edges. It's Sunday morning today and we can see the sheep are grazing off this field where we made the hay and it's very misty today.
back and forth, but um, I don't really know what else we can do. I've had the tractor radio going for a good old sing-along and uh, about three hours has passed. So I've got two bales left to pick up in this group, which takes us to about 40 and then I think Nick is going to take over and put them into the stack. And of course it's one of those tasks where you have to be careful. You don't want to break the plastic or rip it. Um, you don't want to be jabbing the pincers into the ground and damaging the ground. So it actually takes a little bit of precision and care uh, to use the pincers. And last year was the first time I'd ever even done this job. So it's not exactly something that I've had a lot of practice at doing. Um, but I'm getting there definitely and uh, I think I've done more, had more confidence this year than last year and so that's always good but um, yeah clearing the fields it takes, takes time um, so it's good that Nick and I can share the responsibility. So I'm off to pick up the last one. And the all important number count, how many bales did we get? I think we got 214. So that's a lot more than last year. I think we were on about 106 last year. We did make five acres extra. Um, so that will account for some of it. But yeah, a lot more due to the conditions. Um, and we haven't actually finished. We've still got one two acre field that we were going to try and save for traditional small bales, but there just hasn't been the weather window for that yet. Today, Nick. Um, so this is a gateway that we started uh, when we were lambing um, and for one reason or another just never finished it so, um, so I'm just hanging the hanging the gate today we've let the sheep through I, I didn't want to hang it while they were in another field because they would uh, try and force their way through so uh, we've got time to do it now and another nice bit of walling by Andy for us Thank you, Andy. <laughs> Did a great job. Somebody we haven't heard very much from in this video is Nick, who doesn't like to talk a great deal, but I'm going to just pick his brains and um, ask him a few questions. How did it go then, Nick? How, <laughs> do, you think, how do you think haymaking went? It went all right, yeah. We did, uh, we did okay. We seem to remember what, what, what to do. Um, and and then yeah when it came to bailing it was a bit more stressful because it's out of your hands you're waiting for somebody else and you know obviously they've got other people to deal with as well and i think because there was a lot of hay around it's, it's taking them a long time to get around yeah. what do you think we've got too much hay and what do you think we should do with it uh so we've certainly got a lot more hay than we did last year we've probably got maybe a hundred more bales than we had last year um and we have been approached to sell it, but we're not sure what price to to sell at. Um, so if anybody's got any advice, let us know. Um, but uh, other than that, it'll stay and hopefully it'll be good for next year. So thank you for watching. Hope you've enjoyed the series and what we've been up to, what's been keeping us out of trouble. It's uh, It's been a busy time as well on the campsite. So we're kind of excited to have made it through August and nearly at September. And then it's going to be all about lamb sales. So we will see you next time. Thank you for watching. Bye. Bye.